So the cool guy from receiving just called me and told me that my brand new in the box boogie board is here. So we're going to drive over, get it, do a quick unboxing and a quick review for all you other edutech geeks like me out there. Okay, so here's the boogie board in its protective cocoon, surrounded by styrofoam S's. And just from the outside, it gives a very good description of what you can do with it. Um, just a couple details about the stylus that comes with it, how it's extendable, the reset button on it. And on the front, gives you a good description of the boogie board, and that it's a paperless LCD writing tablet. And I really like this packaging. It's kind of cool too because you can open up the packaging and now you can see where your pen is and all the different applications that one might use it for listing home, car, office, school, athletic field. Well, that sounds cool too. If you're a coach and you could use this on the athletic field and write your plays out on it. Cool. And then the next part, which is kind of interesting, even before I get out of the box here, it says, try me. So you can also just use your finger. So try me. Just like that, which is really cool, even inside the box. And this is a great way just to show off your product so people can use it. So we're going to get it all the way out here and kind of go through a full review about what we think about it. Um, inside the package, you get the boogie board itself. You get this handy dandy extendable stylus with a regular pointer on the end. I imagine you can probably use this end a little bit too, however you want to use it to write. I haven't even read the directions yet because I'm a normal geek. Take off the little box part. And we'll see what else we have underneath here. So, boy, this thing's light, too. That's a handy size. Okay, so we've got the boogie board itself. And on the board, uh, the thickness-wise, this thing is very, very thin. I'm going to say it's about the size or thickness of probably one or two CDs thickness. Um, Size-wise, again, you can probably see how big this is compared to my big hands and wow this is kind of cool i mean it just seems very durable um it's got a little bit not much flex to it great nice surface hey okay, next part you get a cleaning cloth that comes in it so you can wipe off any schmutz that you get on the thing and it fits over the screen it's probably a good way to keep it from getting scratched and then you have the directions now simple directions draw guide the stylus Push the button to clear it, and when the LCD stops flashing, it's ready to run again. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay, so let's see what this thing does. Yeah, pretty close. So this is the boogie board, and what it allows you to do, very simply, is to write on it using a stylus or your finger, depending on how much pressure you put on it. So there has to be not a significant amount, but a pretty light amount of pressure on this thing to be able to write, and then when you're done writing on it and you'd like to erase it very easy you just push this cool button over here and once you push the button your screen's gone and then you can resume writing whatever you want on this if i was going on a car trip someplace too that i could take the boogie board with me sitting in the back seat and i could draw pictures to my heart's delight and not having to worry as a parent that I've got crayons rolling around the back or markers or anything else like that that's going to destroy the inside of my car. With this boogie board, I can draw all I want, create my nice snow scene that I have of my uh, polar bear wandering through the tundra here, and draw my little mountains and things like that. And I can have a pretty good time um, in the back seat. And when I'm ready to get away from having my polar bear scene, all I do is push the button and I've erased it. Just a couple suggestions um, that I got from a few of the other staff and just things that I was thinking about. We all came up with kind of the same things. Was First of all, it'd be interesting if the device had some kind of a forward-backward button, kind of where the um, clear button is. So you'd have a middle one that was your normal clear the screen button. Then you'd have a forward and backward button that would store you know maybe 10 pages or so of memory I think that'd be adequate for this device with this price point and the other thing that immediately came to my mind was some place to put the stylus so here's here's the stylus on this boogie board and it's rather large when you compare it to 
a stylus like that. That's from an old um, Palm Pilot. And I put the stylus next to it from the boogie board. And then I go to my Nintendo DS, and the Nintendo DS has this little teeny plastic one. And really, um, for writing on this thing as a student, and just think again, littler hands, these two are, are pretty good size um, versus this big one. The big deal here, just trying to think about it, is um, where can I put the stylus when I'm done using it? So I think about the boogie board. One of the things that'd be interesting would be if I had a Palm Pilot size um, styli and I could stick this thing somewhere here like in the bezel. You know, I know the electronics are all in here, but maybe another little pocket for it here or even on the end of the, the device. Um, similarly, you know, same sort of thing where I think in like Nintendo DS size stylus, you know, immediately just as a teacher think that these these pens stylus are going to come up missing, broken or whatever, and there's really no place to put this thing with it. You know, you're always you've got this you know second device or second thing all the time. So I think that'd be a really good idea. Plus, you know, size wise really just messing around with this thing and writing this is you know for a palm pilot i think this is you know an a absolutely adequate size to be able to do writing with um, on a tablet like this so besides that good stuff i think it really does hit the market where there aren't any other devices like this um, unless you want to go back to manual etch, etch sketches and those uh, old plastic things you used to have that black rubbery stuff underneath a piece, piece of plastic film and you pull it up to erase it. Um, I think this thing is perfect for the intended audience and with just a couple updates I think or upgrades to it I think it'd be just a fantastic device. So. Do you guys use a whiteboard at school? Yep. Like how about those little slate like small little whiteboards? Yep. Use those? Like your own little whiteboard? Uh-huh. Do you like that? The boogie board better or your own whiteboard? I like the boogie board better. Than Why? Because why? Tell me the you gotta give me a good reason. The is dumb. You have to erase it with a sock. Oh, with a sock? Yeah. Is it smelly too? Yes. Okay. So like you want Joel's feet? I like Joel's feet. What are you writing on there? Because it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. We'll get you a pink one. They don't make a pink one yet. Would you like them to make a pink one? Pink or purple? Purple one or a pink one? Okay. <laughs>